It's the best time of the year, tournament time. And you get to make a name for yourself, which is, a, which is huge. Put your team on the map. I picture it as uh, just uh, throwing the ball up in the air, celebrating with my team, my coaches, and holding the trophy up high, and uh, just being one of the uh, greatest moments of my life. Imagining winning a, an ACC championship in the tournament is, uh, I think, what every every kid kind of grows up imagining. Uh, especially when you when you get to this level and you start competing against the best players and the best teams in the country, it'll be a, it'll be a true honor and, and blessing to raise a trophy like that. Did you always picture that last second shot and you having the ball and you're counting down three, two, one in your head and then all of a sudden it goes in and you go crazy even though there's no one really watching? It's one of those things ever since you've been a little kid, that's why, that's why you played the game, that's why you worked so hard is to get in one of these moments. It was first founded in 1837 and called Marthasville, but shortly thereafter the name was changed to Atlanta. For more than four decades, Atlanta was tied to the civil rights movement, visionaries who saw a new south a vibrant city proud of its heritage. It is a city that believed in peace and opened its arms to the world in 1996, hosting the Olympic Games. Six times the ACC tournament has come to the Peach State. The first was in 1983 and the last just three years ago when Duke beat Florida State. This week, 12 ACC institutions and their fans made their way to Atlanta for the 59th ACC tournament. They traveled from as far away as Boston and Miami to as near as neighboring Georgia Tech from Tobacco Road, and from the great states of Virginia, South Carolina, and Maryland. Not just to merely watch great basketball, but to experience ACC action knowing they were a witness to history.